Welcome back to Design Smith. I found this really cool poster on Pinterest where we have like this blend repeated type of thing going on here. And I'm gonna show you how to do this exact same thing in Illustrator. Before we get started, please subscribe to support the channel. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna move this right over here. And we're just gonna use this as a reference point. I'm gonna lay down a lowercase m because we're gonna be adapting this for the My Bloody Valentine album, MBV. So I've got my m here and I'm using enter for the font. And this is the black weight right here. So it's nice and chunky. And now I'm gonna create outlines and we're just gonna to make this really large. I'm going to center this and we're going to push it all the way down to the bottom. And I've got my reference point set to the bottom here and we're going to go all the way up to 18 and then just subtract four. So that way we have a margin of two inches on each side. And now I'm going to move this down maybe another two inches or so. All right, now I'm going to duplicate this and now we're going to set the width to about four inches. We're going to bring it all the way to the top and then make it go off of the page by maybe one inch. All right, so we're gonna be using the blend tool for this. So we have a starting point and an end point. All right, I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna switch over from a fill to a stroke. I'm gonna use my eyedropper to check that background color, but I'm gonna hold down shift to make sure that it goes to the stroke instead. I'm gonna go over here to the stroke panel, set align stroke to outside, and maybe six points or so will work. All right, now with both of them selected, I'm gonna activate my blend tool. And now we're gonna go over here to the blend properties in the toolbar and double click on it. And we're gonna set the spacing to specified steps. And I'm gonna set the specified steps to 18, which means we have a total of 20 because we have one at the beginning and one at the end. And we're gonna hit okay. And if you notice right here, the top M is the one that's in front. Whereas over here on our original poster, the bottom six is in front. And this is really easy to fix. So all we have to do is select this, go up to object, blend, and reverse front to back. And once you have the order set up, you can still go in and edit this. So if we wanted to go back into our blending options, we can add more specified steps if we want. And I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm pretty happy with the sizing for the start and finish. So I'm gonna leave it just like this. So now what we have to do is figure out how to insert these little characters in between the slots of the M's. So let's select everything here, go up to object and expand appearance. And then we're gonna go up to object and expand and expand object and fill and hit okay. And once you get to this point, those blend options are no longer editable. And now we're gonna go up again to object and ungroup and then object ungroup one more time. So now each one of these are selectable. And I'm just gonna put some random letters here. It doesn't really matter too much what we put down. Maybe I'll do like the start of a couple of songs or something. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. I was just looking at the track listing for the album and every single track on the album starts with either S, O, W, I, or N. Part of me wonders whether it was intentional, but at the same time, Kevin Shields is very mysterious, so it's very possible. All right, so I'm gonna select all of these, and just to make things easier on ourselves, let's make them all the same size before we create outlines. The order of this says Sewin, and it makes me think of Tears for Fears. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of these and create outlines. All right, I think we're gonna need to bring this up to about 750 or so, just looking at this. And we can always adjust because as you can see here, they start off large in the front and they get smaller as they go through the back. Okay, so I'm gonna create outlines here. And now I'm just gonna bring this S over here. And I'm gonna add a stroke on here, just like we have for our M's. And we're gonna bring this to about right here. I'm gonna rotate this just like it is on our original poster. I'm gonna set it right about there. And now what we need to do is send this all the way to the back and just keep bringing it forward until we get to there. So the placing of these really is just kind of personal preference and just place them really wherever you want. All right, I think the placement of that is looking really cool. All right, so now I want to set a background color for this. And here's our album cover art. So I'll just kind of color drop on one of these darker blue areas here. And now I'm gonna use my direct select tool and select on the black right here. And then I'm gonna go over here to this purple and color drop while holding down shift. And that turns everything into purple right there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the stroke color. So I'm gonna swap over to the stroke and go up to select, same stroke color. And we'll do like a lighter shade of blue here. And now we need to do the same thing for the strokes on these M's. However, because we expanded so much earlier, those strokes have now become fills. So we need to select the fill with our direct selection tool, go to select, same and fill color. And now I'm gonna zoom in right here. I'm gonna press I and then hold down shift and click on that blue. And I accidentally picked up the purple, so we need to make sure we go and do this again. There we go. All right, that's looking really cool. One thing I might do is go in and just kind of darken that blue a little bit. All right, there we go, that's a lot better. All right, now we'll add some accompanying text here. And I think I'll put a stroke on here as well of that same color. 
And normally I would go in and fix this, but I actually think it looks really cool how they're overlapping like that. All right, we'll duplicate this over here. And we'll put MBV and a little bullet right there and the release date. And we'll move it down by one inch. All right, now I'm gonna select everything and group it together. Now I'm gonna draw a rectangle around this with no fill or stroke. And now select everything again and hit Command-7. And that's just gonna mask everything inside of our artboard here. All right, so here's the original poster we found on Pinterest on the left side and the My Bloody Valentine poster on the right side. I hope I taught you something in Illustrator today. If I did, please hit like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.